<laughs> Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. I have something interesting to show you today. Let's just get this out of the way. I'll get this back on the bench. So this um, this place I'm doing work for, they've put an automatic uh, slight rolling gate left to right, and they wanted some way to open it without putting a remote control button out the front. So we came up with a remote control keypad. Now this one is made by the fan manufacturer KEY and we'll also be selling the override keys on our website. That's one thing. So I actually managed to get one from the from the company. It took me about half an hour and it cost me a fair bit but we finally got one. Now the downside to that is that it takes a plug on the back and they didn't have one ready to go so this is all I could get. So which means I've now got to solder on this to the actual board which is no big deal so I thought I you know I can do that. So I've taken it apart and I've gone to solder it and um, sure enough my soldering iron is not in the car and it's not where it should be. So what I need to do is I need to solder this um, touching these two terminals here and then we should be kind of good to go. One of the terminals is fairly easy, it just comes straight through here and then the other one has to be uh, positioned touching that right there. Okay, like that. Won't work with that, won't work with that. Just checking if I can put it anywhere else. So I've got to really put it onto that one. Okay, so that's um, not so hard to do. The hardest thing about it is, is that I go to solder on the, the wire and I look for my soldering iron and I find I've taken it out of the car and now I have no soldering iron. So I go to my local my local electrical shop and they show me this one here and I'm just looking for something cheap to get this job done. And this is a soldering iron done by USB. And I thought to myself, this isn't gonna work. USB, you know, powering this. So let's actually see if it does work. So I've got my USB all ready to go. Uh, let's check the specs on it. Uh, 2.1 amps, so that should be as much juice as you can get out of a USB. So let's just check if that works. So the only reason I bought this is just to do this one job, but from time to time you do need to a little bit of soldering work. So you just plug that in with that 3.5mm jack on the back. You must have some decent sized capacitors in there to get that hot enough. Now I don't really have much of a place, so it comes with this little stand here. Now it actually should take about 15 seconds to get hot. I mean, I don't, don't know if we can believe that, but let's just pull out the phone and give it a quick look. It's, uh, so it's, yep, we can give it a little bit of time there and let's see how we go. All right, so the first one I need to do is this wire through here, this spot here. Actually, I can already start to smell something. It might actually work. And that should be about 15 seconds now, so let's just test it. No, nothing yet. Red light's still on. So USB, two, sorry, five volts, five and a half volts DC to actually melt solder. If it works, it's going to be a handy little tool. If it doesn't work, well, what can you do? Just see how long that takes. Oh, it does actually melt. All right, it actually melted it. So let's just uh, solder this one real quick. Seems to be working. Seems to be working. I am reasonably impressed with that. Okay, let's see how we go on this side. We've got to put a bit of solder on this one. Yeah, it's working. Now I've actually got to solder this into here. And that's a tricky, tricky one to solder. The only reason we're doing this is because he didn't have the connection available for me, which is annoying and I think we've got it okay so I'm gonna push a button okay it's working so that's our little soldering test for it so that was I'll just unplug it that was a little soldering iron cost me a whole of shush cost me a whole of twenty dollars from I think it was J cars and I'm fairly impressed with that uh, 15 seconds to heat up 30 seconds to cool down long life tip with protective cover Touch the middle point against to restart the. Touch the middle point against to restart work. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's a little metal point there. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. It does get hot, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Did the job exactly what I needed it for. 20 bucks, and it's a little go-to soldering iron when you need it. Okay, leave a comments down below. Oh, here's a close-up. Okay, thanks for watching.